Hello fabulous humans, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then well, hello, how you doing? Welcome. You have just slipped into the most fabulous place on YouTube and I am so happy to have you here. Well, now that I have you here, before you get too comfortable and try to get a seat, you need to subscribe to the channel, become part of the Glitter and Glam Squad so we can shine together. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will always be notified when I upload a new video. And while you're at it, hit the thumbs up button so YouTube knows that little old me, I need to shine bright like a diamond in this YouTube streets, okay? If you're a returning subscriber, Thank you so much for coming back. It's a new year. Listen, 2024, you crossed over with me like what? Like gra? I don't deserve. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, today's video, although we're in 2024, this is the last episode of my series I was going to create. But when I tell you my 2023 towards the end, I was struggling. <laughs> I barely made it through. Sometimes it's hard for me to like record, you know, I think my son got sick and and then, you know, with the holiday schedule, daycare got closed. It was hard, okay? He was sick, then daycare got closed. So he was home for like a week plus and I couldn't record. But this is the last series of my best and worst. And this is the most complimented fragrances for me in 2023. We're bringing it over to 2024, but this is for 2023. So if you want to know what my most complimentary fragrances for 2023 were, then stick around. I said I was recording late. I wasn't recording late. I was just smoking, chilling at a cup of tracks. So before we get into it, I need to share a beauty product with you that I've been loving. The Buxom, they create, Buxom created like a holiday set. They do it every year for the holiday season. And I wanted, they had two sets. I wanted to get one of the sets. It was 40 something and this was 35. And I think the 40 something one like sold out so fast. And I got them. When I tell you these lip gloss, it's like four in a pack have been my ride or die. This one, you can see like my dent is already right here. And I got it like in December. I've been blowing through them. Their lip glosses are plumbing, and for me, I need a plumber. If a lip gloss doesn't have a plumber, I don't want it because my upper lip to me is quite little. But I just wanted to highlight the Buxom lip glosses. I think they're phenomenal. They're amazing. And before then, of course, my Ride or Die gloss has always been Fenty, and that's what I have on today in the shade. This is um, Cookie Jar, and this is Honey Waffles. I use both of them together. And that's what I have on on my lip today. So Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes of today's video. Now my first, my number one most complimented fragrance of 2023. Are you ready? I think you guys already know what this is. But this was hands down my most complimented fragrance. No kidding. It's Guidance. Oh, my dent is denting. It was guidance, guys. And I got this in the, was it fall or pre-fall? I'm thinking August. That's when I got it. There's no time that I wore guidance that literally I didn't get compliment. The last time I wore guidance was to a Christmas. Was It was a Christmas, wasn't it a Christmas party? It was like a birthday party, housewarming, Christmas party, all in one. And I wore guidance and I got so many compliments and... It was a, I'm going to write it down fragrance. So, and, and I gained subscribers. <laughs> Guy just brought me subscriber. So this is a subscriber gainer. It's going to get you compliments. It's going to get you followers and subscribers. But yes, Guidance was my most complimented fragrance. Everywhere I went, people asked me what I had on. They wrote it down. They wanted to know. And it also sparked the conversation of me saying, I just started my YouTube channel. And they're like, really? They want to support? Because they're like, you smell incredible. So you know what you're saying. And that was Guidance. And this is a fragrance that was not a love at first sniff for me. When I first smelled it, I was like, Sometimes when I smell it, I get that weird, like, what's going on in here? But once I put it on my skin and then I step outside, I love it. Once I put it on, and when I step outside, the compliments just keep flowing. So whenever I'm going out and literally if I don't know what to wear, 
I can't seem to figure it out, I use Guidance and it gets the job done. Definitely my most complimented fragrance of 2023. My next most complimented fragrance of 2023 is Ombre Nomad by Louis Vuitton, layered with Intense Cafe by Montal. This right here is my Middle Eastern goddess, my Arabic queen, Dubai princess, everything in a bottle fragrance. This combo, <laughs> oh, this is sickening. Whenever I wear this, I get so much compliment. My Intense Cafe is, is the dent is real. I really used it. And you can see my dent for Ombre Nomad is around here. And that's a lot because this is a very strong and potent fragrance. I love to use both of them together. I use it with Fenty Beauty, but that's because I also like that combo. But when I compared, when I use with Fenty and when I use with Intense, which one gives me more compliments? I would say when I use it with Intense Cafe. I got, I used it when I was traveling. The compliments were flowing. From when I got to the airport, ticketing agent, the TSA people, as I was going through security, I got to the gate, I was seated, I had people ask me, I was walking into the plane, I had, it was just compliments and compliments and compliments. And for me, this is when I want to smell, when I'm going out to a party and I want to look rich, I want to smell like money. This is my money combo duo and definitely my most complimented, one of my most complimented for 2023. But this next combo, there are two parts to this combo. And this is so surprising because the star of the show is Love Don't Be Shy. And this is not a note that I gravitate towards. It's not a note that I would say I love. But it's a note that layers beautifully with these fragrances. Let me show you. The first one is with Delina. With Delina exclusive. With the original Delina. And this was put on to me by my friend she told me to try this layering combo and this is the ultimate girly combo it smells sweet it smells soft it smells feminine it is that femininity in a bottle that i'm talking about in 2024 as well so with this i feel like i smell like a soft elegant lady but this to me is just not it's just a, a pretty lady like i feel pretty i feel like i can pair this I think I put this with Nicki Minaj. I can see Sweetie smelling like this as well. Because this is rose. You get lychee. You get rhubarb. Here you're getting, you know, Love Don't Be Shy. Orange Blossom. Marshmallow is sickly sweet together. Oh my goodness. The compliments that was pouring was like whew, whew, from men. Men, this is how a man wants his woman to smell like. When he's wearing the oud, you can't be oodin with the oud. Like you have to, there has to be a difference. So when he's heavy on the oud, you're going to go here. And this is just going to create that perfect balance. And you smell like a woman. Now, the next one that was my most complimented was when I used it with my, oh, look at my bottle. For Silk Santal 36, listen, PSA, this is to Mona. You're moving on and acting like this never happened. We're like in the lychee phase. We had the oud collection. You're not listening to us. We, the people, we know it was limited edition. We get mad when limited edition becomes main collection, but we're not going to be mad for this one. This needs to be a permanent fragrance. I am not using this fragrance because I don't want to blow through it. <sighs> this fragrance is good. I think that in my opinion, now that I've sat with all the launches from 2023 by Kali. And I love Cafe Oud. This is the best launch. It was so good. It smells like a wedding cake with Love Double Shy with the orange blossom, marshmallow. You use these two together. The compliments from also from the guys. The guys love this. The women, they love guidance. That's a women grabber. This is for the guys. This two together was definitely a compliment magnet for me in 2023. My next most complimented fragrance of 2023 is what made my year, what made this channel. Overture and Muse together. When I use this together, I get so much compliment and then it creates this complex of incense and fig and plum and leather. Together is just like explosion. It's so unique. It's so different. Whenever I use it, the compliments 
Overture. Overture. <laughs> Overture is so good. And then Muse. I've started seeing more people appreciate Muse. Oh, listen. By themselves, I got hella compliments together, like double compliments. These two fragrances are so good. This Overture is like my personality. I like it. This is also another Lueve fragrance. It's giving Givenchy. It's giving Prada. Like it's very edgy. It's also young, but it's not juvenile. It's not super, super young. So it's that stylish human. So if you're a stylish man, stylish woman, you would love it. Muse is also the same thing. Like it's very, I always feel like it's very Mew Mew-esque. <laughs> Emilio Pucci. Like you're getting that kind of vibe. Christina Ricci, like, that's what I'm getting for this from these two fragrances. It's just so good. It's very high quality, very unique, and you're definitely getting your money's worth. It smells luxurious and incredible. The compliments you would get from wearing these two together by themselves, absolutely one of my most complimented fragrances this year, Muse and Overture. My next most complimented fragrance for 2023 was um, Clive Christian, Jump Up and Kiss Me. This is a very elegant fragrance. It smells like a very sophisticated lady. The men love this. Now, Overture and Muse is very unisex. I used to get compliments from women, compliments from men. But when I wear this, it's the men. It's like, that smells so sophisticated. And I try not to use a lot of it because I feel like it's so pricey. This is very strong very sharp and on, an, on a normal day it probably won't be my vibe because i feel like it's a bit too pungent but whenever i wear it i just love it and when i go out once i step out it's like whoa wow i love that that's very nice that's unique the compliments were just pouring in but yeah jump up and kiss me aesthetic by clive christian was definitely one of my most complimented fragrances of 2023 my next most complimented fragrance of 2023 is Portrayal by Amouage. I did not care even if I got compliments the minute I smelled this fragrance. I didn't care. And when I wore it, the, the compliments started coming. This is Jasmine. It's Elemi. I think there's uh, tobacco. There's also vanilla. <sighs> this fragrance, it's me in a bottle. <laughs> this is another me in a bottle fragrance. Jasmine, this fragrance really made me put Jasmine as my top three, top two favorite notes. I love the note of Jasmine and that is thanks to Portrayal. Listen, I always say Portrayal is the woman you need to become. This is so good. <laughs> The amount of compliments I got while wearing it, it was, it's just so opulent. When people walk by, it's like, wow, you smell good. Wow, you smell nice. What do you have on? What do you have on? And it's Portrayal. Portrayal Woman by Amouage. Definitely one of my most complimented fragrances of 2023. My next most complimented fragrance of 2023 is from the House of Zerzhov. And this is Accento Overdose. This fragrance... <sighs> You guys know I love it. This is like my Jeff Bezos wife's fragrance. It smells very rich, very opulent. There's jasmine in here. Jasmine is the money queen fragrance note. And um, a chanto overdose definitely got me lots of compliments. I layered her with Stella Times. And the day that I did, I was in line waiting to, um, what was that? Was I waiting to pick up an order? But I was in line and as people started coming behind my back, the person behind me was trying to figure out what that was. And the person in front of me turned to the back and said, what do you have on? And I'm like, I don't know which one you're getting, but it's a Chento overdose. And they're like, you know, it was such a unique name for them. And I had Stella Times by Louis Vuitton. And when they he was like trying to google it because it was a guy's like he wants to get it for his wife he saw the price it caught him because stella times whew, she pricey and this but he's like this smells angelic he said you smell like an angel and i'm like oh, yes yes lord 
I am your angel. I am the Lord's servant, okay? This is very angelic. With Stella Times is so good. It layers so beautifully with it. And I cannot wait to add a bottle of Stella Times to my collection. I will be complete. That will be my angel fragrance. And I'm thinking for next year, our goal may be to smell angelic. We're just going to be smell like an angel. After being a Middle Eastern goddess, we're going to take our walk down the Middle East. We did Dubai, Katana. We're taking over the Middle East. And when we're done, we're going to be an angel <laughs> for 2024, uh, five. For 2025, we'll be an angel. But a gentle overdose, definitely my most one of my most complimented fragrances of 2023. The next most complimented fragrance of 2023 for me. Did you see that? It is my Passion de l'Amour. Oh, don't tell me I'm having another issue with another bottle from House of Siage. Oh, but I love Passion de l'Amour. It is still my favorite House of Siage fragrance. This is my ultimate boss babe scent. When I wear this, I feel like you cannot talk to me. We are not the same. I am not the one, the two, or the three. You, you don't add up to me. Um, there's a big difference between me and you. I ain't nothing like you, 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 or you. <laughs> when I wear this, it's a big difference. This is my boss babe scent. I get so much compliments from it when I wear this. This is also a party fragrance. Once I wear it, especially when the weather is getting a bit cooler, I just get the compliments keep coming and it smells rich. It smells lavish. It is really that good. In the words of Sheree here on YouTube, she said, it is good, good. And she did not lie because she, she and Pockets and Pockets and Bowls were one of the reasons where I got this fragrance and I... I'm so happy that I did because whenever I wear this, whenever, wherever I went in 2023 with this fragrance on, it was on. I got so many compliments. And like I said, with this fragrance, um, there was a big difference between me and everybody else. So Passion de l'Amour by House of Siage, definitely one of my most complimented fragrances of 2023. The next complimented fragrance for 2023 on my list is a combo. This is um, Sehashela by Swiss Arabia. So you know I'm smelling like Arabian goddess, Arabian queen. This is Baccarat Rouge 540. Now with this, this is also given I am nothing like you, you, you or you. This is <sighs> Baccarat. I'm really warming up to Baccarat again because she was abused and um really beaten up very damaged <laughs> and i feel like um she's been abandoned so maybe now i can pick her up <sighs> see how Sheila is so good so potent is such a beautiful rose and wood fragrance is it unique no it's a rose and wood fragrance but it is so good with baccarat on top of it Oh, in 2023, this was my, you invite me for um, a party or a wedding or anything, I'm wearing this. So I put this first as the base to give that money vibe, to give that oud and, and rose vibe to take over because then I feel like I'm sexy. And then I put this to leave a sexy scent trail because this is what it's going to give when you're coming, you're going to smell me as I leave. Like even after I leave and you walk in, you would know that I was there. So that's what this was. And I got so much compliments, so many compliments from this combo. This is one of my favorite fragrance combos. And this was everything, everything. My next most complimented fragrance. I feel like my most complimented fragrances are usually combos. But this is, you know, my portrait of a lady. Whenever I layer it with Rose and Cura. I finally found Rose and Coeur, I think 50 ml on Joma Shop, and I will be picking that up. So I need to, that should be on my um, wish list. Did I put that on my wish list? But I definitely will be picking up Rose and Coeur because Rose and Coeur with Portrait of a Lady, when I wear this, this is a fragrance that when I wear this two together, when I'm talking to people, they get they, like, they, they can't focus. <laughs> 
there was one time I went, I was talking to someone and she, she was like, yes, yes, yes. And then she caught me. She was like, wait, babes, wait, 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 babes. Can you hold up? What are you wearing? <laughs> I'm trying to listen to you, but I can't because the fragrance is like, it's hitting me. And that was Fratred of a Lady and Rose and Kua by Frederick Ma. It always gets compliments. When I wear this, men ask me because they want it for themselves women ask me but the women that ask me about this are like fragrance people that love perfumes if you're not really into perfumes and you smell it especially rose and cour rose and cour if you're not a fragrance lover this is niche it's very unique so if you're not a fragrance fragrance lover you would not appreciate rose and cour and then portrait of a lady it's rose it's incense it's patchouli it's a bomb it's my you, you guys know one of my favorite fragrances ever this two together, money combo. I get so much compliments, so many from men, from women, from humans. They all want a piece of me. You want a piece of me. So this is another me in a bottle fragrance. So there are some fragrances that I feel like is me. It was created for me. I was the muse behind it. This is one of them. <laughs> I feel like I was also the muse behind Muse and Overture. And I was also the muse behind Passion de l'Amour. Which other one? Was I? I'm also the muse behind um, Accento Overdose. A lot of these fragrances I listed, they were meant for me. Um, created because they had me in mind. Okay. The next most complimented fragrance for me of 2023 is a fragrance that I struggle with. This is Hibiscus Mahajad by Mason Cravelli. Personally, I love this fragrance in the dry down after maybe two hours. When I put it on, I feel like it's just, it's a bit too sharp. It's very sticky. I struggled with it in the summertime here in Texas. And now the weather is cooler, so I need to bring it out. But I realized that whenever I use this, the outfit I'm wearing that day, when I come back and I have it laying around, if I come into, let's say, my glam room the next day and I pick up that outfit I love what I smell but you see that initial time when I first sprayed I feel like I struggle with it but all the times I've worn this fragrance I get compliments non-stop what are you wearing what are you wearing what are you wearing what fragrance is that and I've been told like I'm coming from up and someone told me I can smell you like I can already smell you coming down very potent very potent and a huge compliment magnet for me it's like i don't reach for it this my um dent i don't reach for it as much as i would love to but whenever i do it's a it's a compliment getter so now that the weather is cold i will be bringing her out i think she'll be good for spring as well when it's still cool so hibiscus mahajad definitely was one of my most complimented fragrances of 2023 i can't lie I have to give credit where credit is due even if i know that it's a fragrance that i'm like i have a love-hate relationship with i love it but then sometimes the opening i was like i'm like oh it's a bit too much for me but then i love strong fragrance i don't know what's going on between me and hibiscus but the compliments that i get from her is unmatched top tier next level and i will be keeping her so those are the most complimented fragrances in my collection for 2023. Those are the fragrances that I wore that turned heads and made people turn. I would say for honorable mention, Arabian Stonka by Montal. I think I have it here. Arabian Stonka, honorable mention. And Ujo Intense by Fragrance Dubois was another most complimented fragrance for me as well in 2023. Lamar as well. I got compliments from Lamar, but with Lamar, I didn't even care what anybody felt. I just loved it for myself. But I did get some compliments from Lamar as well in 2023. But yes, y'all, let me know in the comments below what are some of the fragrances that you wore in 2023 that people around you couldn't get enough of. Do you have any of the fragrances I listed? Did they get you compliments? I always want to find the next best thing that's going to get all the boys to the yard and give me some compliments. So let me know in the comments below what your most complimented fragrances for 2023 were. And um, like I always say, in all things, what we do, we add glitter. Whenever you're in doubt, we add more glitter. And when all else fails, 
your back's against the ropes your back is against the wall what you need to do you need to smell irresistible so the compliments will come and when it comes it's going to get you out of any sticky situation and for me right now it's so new for me to add it to the list but leonara is going to be the compliment getter and valaya too but yes if I smell, if I come across someone wearing this, I will give them a compliment. So when all else fails and your back's against the ropes, you need to try Leonara by Mind Game. She didn't make the list for 2023 because she was acquired in December. So I think that she hasn't been around long enough to get the cover the spot. <laughs> but you need to try um, Leonara by Mind Games and add more glitter. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in another video. Oh, this is really good. I wonder if I throw on Muse because I love the way Muse smells. Oh, oh. <laughs> listen, when all else fails, <laughs> your back's against the ropes. <laughs> you need to get Muse too. <laughs> Muse is so good. Muse is so good. You need to get Muse too and add more glitter, okay? Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.